Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 26. Let's take some examples of vector cross product now. So here we have these two vectors A and B given. We have to find A cross B. Please note you to find magnitude of A cross B here. We don't have to find A cross B. We have to find magnitude of A cross B. And this will be scalar, obviously. Right, so I'll show you how. So, to start with, we know the formula of A cross B was nothing but Ijk A1, A2, A3, and B1, B2, B3. Correct this formula, we know. Where I have vector A is A1, I cap plus A2, J cap plus A3, K cap, and vector B is b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap. Now if we compare these two equations, I can say that this guy is a1, this guy is a2, this guy is a3, this guy is b1, b2 and b3. So in this case, my a cross b will be nothing but i j k and here I have 1 minus 7, 7. 1 minus 7, 7. Here I have 3 minus 2, 2. 3 minus 2 and correct. So this is nothing but i into minus 7 into 2 is minus 14 and minus 7 in, uh, 7 into minus 2 is again minus 14. Minus minus 14. Correct. Minus j into 1 into 2 is 2 and 3 into 7 is 21 minus 21 plus k into 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 and minus 7 into minus minus 7 into 3 is minus 21 so minus 2. So if you are not understanding this matrices please watch my matrix videos you will get uh, to understand how I am doing this. So this becomes minus 14 plus 14 that is 0 i is gone and this is minus j into minus 19 that is 19 j plus this guy is again 19 k so a cross b is 19 j plus 19 k cap but i am asked to find magnitude of a cross b so magnitude of a cross b will be nothing but root of this square plus this square that is 19 square plus 19 square and that will be 19 root 2. Correct. Root 19 plus root 19 is 19. Let's take one example. Here you define the per unit vector. You define the unit vector which is perpendicular to this vector and this vector where a is this and b is this. So to do this, what can we do? To find a perpendicular vector that is perpendicular to vector, let's suppose p and q, right? What we have to do is we have to find p cross q. Correct. This will be some vector which is perpendicular to p cross q. Now I have to find unit vector. So I'll say p cross q divide by magnitude of p cross q. So this will be nothing but my unit vector that is perpendicular to p cross q. I hope this is clear. See if I have p vector, let's suppose some vector p, if I have some vector q here, my p cross q will be some vector, let's suppose this guy, this guy will be p cross q. Right? p cross q will be some vector it's perpendicular to p and q. Now, I have to find a unit vector which is per, which is in this direction. To find unit vector, I have this vector, you divide this vector, the magnitude of this vector, you get a unit vector. And that's what we will do. What is P here? P is A plus B and Q is A minus B. So let's find P first. P vector is nothing but A vector plus B vector. That is nothing but 3 plus 1, that is 4i. 2 plus 2, 4j, 2 minus 2, 0k. That is p vector. q vector is nothing but 
ए वेक्टर माइनस बी वेक्टर ए वेक्टर माइनस बी वेक्टर दैट इज थ्री माइनस वन इज टू आई विल टेक जे पार्ट टू जे माइनस टू जे इज जीरो जे टू के माइनस माइनस टू के दैट इज प्लस फोर के दिस इज माई क्यू वेक्टर करेक्ट वॉट आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन आई पुट हेयर जीरो के वॉट आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन इज पी क्रॉस क्यू बाय मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ पी क्रॉस क्यू सो फर्स्ट आई टू फाइंड पी क्रॉस क्यू दिस गाई विल बी नथिंग बट आई जे के फोर फोर जीरो फोर फोर जीरो राइट टू जीरो फोर टू जीरो फोर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू बिकॉज वी हैव दिस फॉर्मुला P cross Q. If you are not not clear with this, watch the previous video where we have explained this. So this becomes I into four into four is sixteen minus zero into zero is zero minus J into four into four sixteen minus two into zero is zero plus K cap into all this cap here. 4 into 0 is 0 minus 4 into 2 is 8 0 minus 8 this is nothing but 16 i minus 16 j minus 8 k cap this is my p cross q what i am looking for i am looking for p cross q by Magnitude of p cross q. So let's find magnitude of p cross q. This becomes root of 16 square, 16 square, 8 square. That is 16 square plus 16 square plus 8 square. So this you will solve, you will get 24. So my unit vector, let this be n vector, is nothing but my p cross q, this vector, divide by magnitude of p cross q. Because I'm looking for the unit vector in this direction. Right, so unit vector is nothing but this vector divided by the magnitude of this vector. So this becomes 16i minus 16j minus 8k all cap divided by 24. This is nothing but 16 by 24i cap minus 16 by 24j cap minus 8 by 24k cap. So you want to solve this further. You can solve this. 8 is a common here. It becomes 2 by 3 i cap minus 2 by 3 j cap minus 1 by 3 k cap. And that is my unit vector that is perpendicular to my p and q vector where p vector is a plus b and q vector is a minus b. I hope this is clear. So if you have to find any vector that is perpendicular to two vector. What you have to do? You have to do a cross product of the two vectors. For example, in this case, I want to find a vector that is perpendicular to P and Q. This will be P cross Q. But now I am supposed to find a unit vector that is perpendicular to P and Q. In that case, I have this vector. To make it a unit vector, the only thing I have to do is I have to divide this vector by the magnitude of this vector. So this is my vector P cross Q. I divide this by the magnitude of P cross Q. And what you get is an n vector. This guy is perpendicular to P and Q. So if this concept is clear, you can solve more examples on this. The next question says that if a unit vector, the unit vector A, where magnitude of A is 1, obviously, makes angle pi by 3 with I, pi by 4 with J, and some acute angle with K. Find angle theta. So if you know that I write A as A1i plus A2j plus A3k, right? I write A vector as something like this. I can also write A as magnitude of A into cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k cap. Where alpha is the angle this vector makes with i cap, i direction, that is x axis. The beta is the angle which this vector makes with y axis, and gamma is the angle which makes with z axis. I think we have done this in the scalar part where we know that we can write both are same actually. So now we are told that 
magnitude of a is 1 anyway so 1 into alpha is pi by 3 correct so cos pi by 3 i plus this is beta is pi by 4 cos pi by 4 j cam and gamma is some angle theta theta this is my vector correct now since the magnitude of this vector is 1 my a cap I can also write as nothing but this guy is 1 into cos pi by 3 or let me factorize this further cos pi by 3 is what 1 by 2 so it becomes 1 by 2 i cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 j and this is cos theta k correct so this is my vector actually this is my a vector magnitude is 1 so the magnitude of this I can also write as if this is my vector I found this is a vector I can write as this guy is nothing but magnitude of this i component square this is 1 by 2 square plus magnitude of j component square that is 1 by root 2 square plus k component square cos theta square and this is given 1 it's already given as 1 correct so this becomes 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 plus cos theta cos square theta is 1 because if you square also this comes once or you get like this alive cos square theta is 1 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 4 1 minus 3 by 4 that is 1 by 4 so theta is cos theta is plus minus 1 by 2 because cos square theta is 1 by 4 so cos theta is root of this guy right 1 by 4 so the plus plus minus 1 by 2 so I say that theta is either pi by 3 you can't take uh, minus 1 because it's told that it is an acute angle so we'll take theta as pi by 3 only and we'll take plus 1 by 2 because it is told theta is acute angle correct had theta been uh, an obtuse angle we could have taken pi minus pi by 3 also but this, since it's told the acute angle we'll take theta as pi by 3 so what I am asked I am asked to find components of a vector that is I have to find this guy so here I have theta I can put this value so my a vector will be 1 by 2 i plus 1 by root 2 j cap plus cos theta is how much plus 1 by 2 1 by 2 k and this is my a vector I hope this is clear see I was told that my vector makes alpha beta and gamma angle with i j and k I was told the value of alpha and beta I wrote this a vector in this fashion a vector is nothing but magnitude of a into cos alpha i cos beta j and cos gamma k cap this guy was 1 I put the value of alpha beta and theta as theta I got my a vector as this value I have to find the value of theta how to find I know once again that magnitude of a is 1 correct since magnitude of a is 1 I use this formula that this square plus this square plus this square root is 1 and with that I got cos theta is plus 1 by 2 or minus 1 by 2 so but it is told the theta is acute angle so I'll take the plus 1 by 2 part I will not take the minus 1 by 2 and thus cos theta is plus 1 by 2 I just put cos theta plus 1 by 2 in this equation and I got this e thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more Thanks once again.